Oh, oh, so you thought because 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 uh, you you got drunk on Cinco de Mayo that you ain't had to come to work yesterday? That's what you thought, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you can go home. You know, matter of fact, while you at it, go down to unemployment and Cinco de Mayo ass unemployment because that's your fire. <clears throat> that's how I was at the. I'm <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Um, Ryan, Morton, this has got to be more careful. Who is right? Remember. Today on Got To Be More Careful News, a Missouri man is charged with second-degree murder for allegedly strangling his wife as she lay in a hospital bed. Here's why. According to the probable cause statement, a staff at the Center Point Medical Center told detectives that around 7.30 the woman was alert and responsive, and about an hour later, she was unconscious. A code blue was initiated and she was immediately taken to the intensive care unit. Hospital staff said they noticed suspicious injuries, a redness around her neck, and a fresh wound on her throat. Behind me is Ronnie Wiggins, the husband. When questioned, he said he didn't even have a vehicle to get to the hospital. But the son stated he gave him a ride. While back at the hospital, Wiggs actually confessed to the son and the doctor. He said, quote, I did it. I choked her. Detective said that he actually tried to kill his wife on two other occasions while she was in the hospital. The first time, almost through the process, she wakes up and catches him and advises him not to do that again. I wish she would have told somebody. Maybe she'd still be here today. The second time... He tried to do it, but he said that she was hooked up to too many monitors and he didn't know which monitor or what to disconnect, so he couldn't do it. But the third time after following through, it happened and he told detectives that he couldn't care for her anymore. It was being stressful and he was losing all the money paying the bills. The Jackson County Prosecutor's Office charged Wiggins with second-degree murder. He is now being held at the Jackson County Jail for a $250,000 bail. Good riddance. Got to be more careful. He couldn't just he couldn't just break up with her. <laughs> he couldn't write her a dear John letter and leave her on a nightstand in the hospital. <laughs> he gotta take her out. What's wrong with you? If I was his son, I'd have knocked his ass out right in the hospital. <laughs> He'd have to bring him right down to the morgue. Be careful who you marry, because when you get sick, I swear people will be trying to take you out. <laughs> they be trying to get the insurance policy. <laughs> they trying to get the money in the bank. They trying to get it all. Goddamn. Be careful who you marry. <laughs> Well, there you have it. I'm pretty sure he'll rot in jail for the crime he's committed. I'm Ryan Hubble, and remember, till I see you, see me, see each other. Be careful, because you got to be, got to be more careful news.